Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing my latest Amazon purchase. This is the solar powered portable electric fence energizer from the company My Animal Command. So with all my purchases, I like doing these unboxings. In case there's somebody out there thinking about buying the same item and they wanna get an idea of what does it look like when it comes in, etc. So you might be wondering, well, what exactly is, is this? Basically, it gives you the ability to set up an electric fence very easily and you can even move the electric fence if you need to. IP54 waterproof, so this will withstand any weather conditions. 0.25 joules output, it can produce up to 11,000 volts of output. So that's gonna give the animals a good shock, but it will not harm any animals. You can use it for basically keeping livestock out of certain things. Maybe you're trying to keep you know, deer out of your garden. We actually use it to keep cattle away from our deer feeders, but you can use it for various things. So let's take a look at everything it comes with and then I can show you how to set it up. So the first thing they're going to give you is your earthing rod. It can go up to 19 inches I believe is what it said on the listing. Twelve volt wall outlet cable. As with most solar powered items it's always recommended that you plug it in, fully charge it with a wall outlet, and then once it's fully charged, you can put it outside and the solar power will keep it up and running. Has a large solar panel. I'll give you a glimpse of the bottom here. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to read all of that. And then you've got two lights up at the top. You've got a light that will show you whether or not it is charging, and then you've got another light that lets you know if it's working. Once you've got your poly wire connected to it, you can see whether or not it's working. It has a large capacity rechargeable lithium ion battery that is built in. It can run up to 15 days in total darkness with no charging at all once the solar panel has it fully charged. Now you're going to notice here this is just the solar powered energizer. It does not come with cable. It will work with any poly wire that is sold on the market, but you'll have to buy this separate. This is some poly wire that I bought from a different seller on Amazon, but you can use it with this solar energizer. The last thing is you've got your crocodile connector cables. Now the setup's gonna be very easy. I can show you that in a second once I get my poly wire open. All we're gonna do is we're basically going to run these connectors. We're gonna connect the green one to this black prong and then we're going to connect the red one to the red prong and then we're going to basically feed our poly wire through there and that should be the setup of our electric fence. So that's a quick unboxing. Let's open the poly wire and get it set up. Okay so I've just set up a really quick test of a fence around my uh, garden here. It's really simple to set up. You've basically got your two crocodile clips. Your red is going to connect to the red connection on the back and then your green is gonna to connect to the black connection on the back. You're gonna run your green crocodile clip to your earthing rod, and then the red is going to connect to your poly wire, and that's what's going to send the electric shock throughout the fence. Now, you'll be able to hear it working, but if you look at the unit itself, you can see a blinking light. It will let you know it's working and you can hear it. You can either test the cable to see whether or not it's sending out a shock. You will feel it, it's not gonna hurt you. You can also use something like this FenceMate voltmeter voltmeter there's various sellers that sell it where basically you can test it i can put the voltmeter here and i can touch the earthing rod and it will let me know what kind of current is being sent through my fence again with your poly wire you can go up to three miles of fence and this energizer will charge up to three miles i hope the video helps